Welcome back. New video. Hey, here's what we're doing. We're out in the garage and you can see here we got a bunch of stuff out on the workbench, uh, some scrap pieces of wood and what have you. Uh, you've seen these grinder holders for your four and a half inch grinder. They sell them on eBay and so on for $30 to $60. You can also go to Etsy and get them. We're going to make one out of scrap wood in our garage for next to nothing. So stay tuned. Like and subscribe. Post notifications on. Don't miss these easy how-tos. Let's get started. All right, we got ourselves a piece of uh, half-inch plywood. Got a uh, two by two, which is actually inch and a half by inch and a half. Uh, we picked out a hole saw. Uh, basically, we're going to make a hole like this so that the plywood hangs in here. Uh, we've got an extremely thin piece of plywood from an old boat project we did. All right, white on one side. So. Uh, First thing we got to do is figure out how we're going to put our uh, grinding wheels and one of the spaces for four of them. So uh, I kind of just lay them out by eye. Let's get out another grinding wheel. We got four of them out. That's pretty good. Got pencil, tape measure. Oh, we can kind of go this way and see. Okay, we got about an inch, inch, inch. Inch, inch, bring these down, inch, inch. All right, once you get those down, you just make yourself some circles. The other thing we want to do is come down and say, all right, this is about where they stop. Put a light line so we know where they stop. Because you gotta remember our grinders gotta come up and down out of there. So here, and we gotta we gotta be up here. So we're gonna go to here, we drop to here. So center line of the grinders is about uh, here. So we're gonna make a line across there. And then we'll come across here. We're also going to make cord holders on here, so we got some of these uh, two grinder holders and an extension cord. You can hear the rain coming down. So we did that. Uh, we have to figure out where to put these. Again, we want to make sure we've got the gaps. Uh, so we're going to take this. Uh, we'll figure out where we want this. We're going to make a uh, make a mark on this and uh, cut these off. So, uh, got this marked here, put this on here, cut that off. Uh, we're going to fire our compressor up. Uh, we'll show you that in a minute. So we can uh, use our fateful Ryobi saw here. Pull that up and mark the other one to match. Piece of cake. We always recycle our wood. Right in the bucket. All right, so we're gonna do some rounding to a lot of this. Let's put these away before they get all dusty. So, for holding up our grinding wheels, we're gonna use quarter inch uh, bolts. So we are going to get out a quarter inch drill and drill some holes for those bolts. We'll put the bolts in later. And we're going to get a quarter inch drill right here. Right in the right OB. You can kind of by eye this right in the center of your spot. Let's give it some speed. Let's 
Got that. A little bit of stuff there. Get that compressor fired up. I like the chamfer, our edge is real nice. Let's uh, do it like this to figure out where you want your uh, screws and then just start putting them uh, spread out pretty good here. Start them like that and then we can uh, clamp it and put it in. All right, we moved you back so you can see better. Uh, Get a couple of clamps here. A lot of easy ways to do this. Uh, basically, take off with our board underneath, line it up with a corner. These are handy clamps because you can push this button and it opens up and closes. So uh, you can adjust it easy, do it like this. That a little tighten. Another one. Put it on the center edge here. Nice. You can see where we're at. Um, Got to get our uh, piece of white wood up here. I'll move this stuff down so we got a little room. We got to get our piece cut out for this. Now we gotta remember when we cut this out, we want to come in with a hole saw and drill some holes in it. So uh, drill holes in it's gonna take some work. Uh, we're gonna put this here and uh, sketch this out. But we're gonna leave that piece long up there. We'll show you why. Put that there. go. We cut this out very carefully to make a long cut first, all right? Got to get our Roy OB. Always set your blade depth correctly, all right? We're too deep right now, so we're going to take this and move it like this so it just barely comes through this uh, wood. The more it comes through, the more dangerous it is. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to look underneath, make sure there's nothing. We're going to caress this. That's a sacrificial board, so we ain't worried there. You can see what we got here. Got this going on here just like this. But what we want to do is take our uh, straight edge, make some marks where we want to drill our holes with our hole saw, and where we're going to cut it off. One there. there. Now we got to lay these out, spread out. Easiest way to do that again is with a couple of grinding wheels. Where are they going to be? Now we know we got to be in an inch and a half plus a little bit for this, so they're going to be pretty close together. So what we're going to do is come in an inch and a half, all right, and then we're going to come over here and do the same thing. And that's where the outer edge of this has to be. So we got to be in a little bit more and in a little bit more. And you can see we got, uh, I have to put these like this. 
And I'm going to draw a circle like this and a circle like that. Now we're going to put this on the bench and uh, drill them holes. Get this gone. Get this on the floor. Such a big, uh, big bit on there. You know, our sacrificial bench will let that go right in. So we're going to do, uh, do a little of this here. Put a couple blocks of wood under it, just like this. Drill in the center. So easy. You got a use for them, great. If not, hey, so uh, All right, so now we gotta cut this off. Out with the Ryobi. Remember, sacrificial here, so. Hey, that's junk. This is the part we want. We might want to deburr this a little. Uh, let's take this and deburr it. Oh, ain't that nice. So, uh, best thing to do here is get out some drills. This, uh, this masonry board's real hard to get uh, a drill through, so we'll just get ourselves a little drill. Okay, it should be done with these screws. That longer one's to mount it to the wall. Well, there you go. And what should fit in here is this should be able to, uh, oh, top of cord, huh? this should go in here like this. Hey, look at that. Holds a grinder, right? I got two of them, so I put the other one over here. There's our grinders. Oh, I'm going to go get my bolts, and uh, we'll be able to do that. See, here. There's how your grinders fit in there, ain't that nice? Alright, our next step is to get our studs in it. Our wheels. Them are up here. So, I'll show you one from the back side here. Just kind of push this in. Tap that in with a hammer. over. There you go. Drop a washer on each one. Put a nut on each one. Now better be lucky than good. Bouncing. Take your uh, wrench and just kind of tighten these. If the whole thing wants to turn like that, you got to put a vice grip on the thread down here. And then turn this a little bit to block it. Place, uh, put your wheels. Uh, wheel will go on. Hang on there really nice. Now we got to figure out our cord holders. We'll put our drill on our grinders up there. We want to hang our cord right here. So we're going to put two cord holders right here. 
and we put one down here. So we're going to set up our drill, pilot holes. Here you want to make sure that your screws are long enough to go through and into the 2 by 4 in the wall. Alright, ready to mount it. I'm going to mount it close to another bench, but that bench is on wheels. We're reorganizing the whole garage, so there'll be something low there eventually. Probably the welder will be at its permanent home. So, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's put it together. you got to find your stud. You know about where the stud is. And, uh, There like this. Now, again, we can bend these away from the wall a little bit to hold our cords. Eventually, we'll put an extension cord on there. Let's see how it works. Cord on there. The other grinder. Cord on there. And hang a cord around here. All right. Hey, that looked easy. Now let's see about our grinding wheels. So we have. Uh, Flapper wheels, we've got uh, driver wheels, got uh, cutoff wheels, and we've got a uh, diamond cutoff wheel. There our wheels are up, everything's up on the wall. Well, there you go, we got our cords on the hooks, got our two four and a half inch grinders in there, they work real well, just drop in the slot. Uh, I got a space down here where I can put some information if I want, or uh, maybe I'm going to hang all the wrenches there. I drill holes in them and put some studs, hang all our wrenches there. But uh, you can see I got four different wheels. I got cut off, I got diamond cut off, I got a regular grinder and flapper wheels. So don't forget, like and subscribe. Don't miss the videos, okay? So, hey, enjoy, have a good day, and uh, that's our rainy Mother's Day project.